Laser versus peel for dark spots in aging skin. I'm 45 and have a lot of dark spots from the sun and acne on my skin. I'm looking for the best option to achieve clear, younger looking skin. There are so many options out there, I'm confused and looking for the best recommendations. Please help. Thank you for your question. You're 45 years old, you submitted several photos and you state that you are dealing with essentially discolorations and acne scars that is reducing the quality and appearance of your skin and you're trying to decide whether lasers versus peels will help you get younger looking skin and you state that you're, there are so many options out there you want to know which is the best option. Well, I can certainly share with you how I discuss these exact same concerns in my practice every day. Uh, a little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. Helping people achieve youthful looking skin is a, a critical part of our daily practice whether a patient comes for a surgical procedure or specifically for skin issues, we, we have a system that we use to apply what is essentially one or two or maybe more of the many options that you were referring to. It's understandable why there is such confusion. There is so many procedures that essentially say the same thing improve the appearance of discolorations, improve collagen, increase collagen, reduce wrinkles, and so you certainly have a very valid, um, valid request. So to begin with, we start by first doing an evaluation. And what I find is that when you want to really come up with a treatment plan, when it comes to skin, it's not usually a single one-off process where you do one thing and then you're done. Now this is of course in comparison to surgical procedures. For example, if someone comes in with under eye bags, well there's a surgical solution. We do something called transconjunctival blepharoplasty and we reduce the fat pockets and it works out well. The same thing for upper eyelid surgery or facelifts. When it comes to skin, there is often the, the difference between what the patient sees, which are irregularities and discolorations, but also what's going on underneath. And what I'm referring to is volume loss from bone loss, volume loss from fat loss, as well as the what defines a he healthy looking skin. It, for decades now, and I've been using lasers for patients since the mid-90s, and certainly there was always the gold standard of peels. The, the, the challenge we always have to wrestle with is how much can we do with minimal downtime? Essentially, we learned from the years of doing ablative procedures such as CO2 laser or erbium laser that was fully ablative that the healing process is often something that's a, that is, requires so much additional time for the patient to be away from work and other obligations that we've learned to figure out ways to mitigate that, even though those are very effective treatments and sometimes really the best option. So when it comes to skin quality, I often recommend a regular treatment using something called PRP, or platelet-rich plasma. This is derived from your own blood, and essentially the goal of stimulating collagen and improving skin that we would do with laser, I do with your own natural healing and growth factors, which is, as I said, derived from your own blood. Now that's like the foundational approach to help the skin improve and glow. I would say that for, in comparison to peels, I would say that there is a, a certain advantage to certain ablative and also certain non-ablative technologies. With discolorations, we have a lot of success using a, something called a Q-switch laser 
for pigmentations and then using them at different wavelengths to treat these different pigmentations, whether it's something called laser toning or specific uh, reduction of brown spots. Now there's also overlap. These treatments also have this indirect effect on the acne scars, but we also have strategies using lasers for acne scars. Acne scars are also uh, very often served by treatments such as microneedling as well as injectable hyaluronic acid fillers. So uh, although it, it's very um, tempting to say, well, what's the one thing I can do to make everything work or go away or improve? It really is more about having a treatment plan. And this is where selecting a physician who can work with you and really define for you what your options are, what are the predictable results that there would be that would be expected, and what what kind of time frame would that entail, and of course, what kind of expense. We we see in our practice that the, these variables often help patients develop a priority uh, prioritization scale for themselves, as well as it also has to work with the person's schedule. So a lot of our procedures are minimally invasive and are done over the course of time with the expectation that over the course of, let's say, three to six treatments of any given laser treatment which doesn't require any downtime will eventually lead to an improvement or combining these with PRP. The re one of the re things that I really try to leverage when I try to help my patients with skin is, is the synergistic effects. So PRP combined with hyaluronic acid combined with laser can really make a much greater impact. Basically the take home message is the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. So it goes, uh, it goes back to strategy. Too many people bounce around from, inst from different entities, whether it's a Medispa or somebody offering some kind of a discount for a laser treatment. And they keep bouncing around and they never get a satisfactory outcome and they're often frustrated because they hoped that what was presented to them as a single device, single solution, and just name the year and you can name the device that is hot for that year until a new device is hot the next year. So it's more about a treatment plan and a strategy than it is about a single option. So find a doctor that you're comfortable with and then start, start getting to the process of helping your skin look better. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.